The mission of St. Mary's Healthcare System Children is to improve the quality of life of children with medical complexity and their families. I like to say that St. Mary's is the rest of the story in pediatric healthcare. We're the ones that step up where there's no one else to do that work. Philanthropic support allows us to dream and take those dreams to expand what we're currently doing, stay on the forefront of technology, and be innovative to ensure that we can continue to give families and the patients the breath of fresh air and the scope of what they need while giving them the dream and the hope of what a brighter future could look like. The story of Cindy Johnson at St. Mary's is one of unparalleled partnership and support. I think the legacy of her commitment to this organization is one that inspires everyone here. What we do for children is amazing. When you give to St. Mary's, it really counts. Because we're small, you can see the impact that your money makes. If something needs to be done, we'll do it because we think it should be done. The cost of caring for medically complex children can be extraordinary. So philanthropy not only helps us meet our ongoing operational costs, but allows us to think about new and innovative programs, much like the programs that Cindy supported over the years. She was one of our first supporters and a major supporter of our innovative pediatric feeding disorders program. It took going to 13 people before finding St. Mary's. We saw seven different lactation consultants, switch pediatricians, saw four different feeding therapists and uh, GI to get a series of tests done. We couldn't find the support that we needed. And then our pediatrician told us, if St. Mary's can't feed a child, no one else can. And when I arrived, I understood why she said that. It was literally the miracle that we prayed for. Someone like Cindy plays an integral role in driving our community forward when it comes to giving care to medically complex children and allows us to continue down that path where philanthropy empowers staff to do extraordinary things. In 2017, we had a dream of starting a spinal cord program and based off of her philanthropic support and a large gift, we were able to launch and pilot that program in 2018. Cindy Johnson made a transformative contribution to our organization at the end of this past year. It's going to fund a technology and telehealth program within our home care program where we are going to be able to remotely monitor very sick children at home and also provide remote services, in particular to children in very difficult to serve neighborhoods. Our goal is to keep children out of a hospital, not to have them in a hospital. And telehealth will enable us to do that because a lot of things that are done in hospitals can be done at home. We believe that this is going to be a model of care that can be replicated throughout the country, maybe throughout the world. If you look at our evolution as an organization, it's punctuated by extraordinary new programs, extraordinary new developments and Cindy's played a role in all of that. I think that her leadership, her ability to support the staff, and her ability to commit resources where they're needed most is unlike anything we've seen at St. Mary's and is pretty unique in the healthcare field generally. I think that the track record that Cindy's established at St. Mary's is a paradigm for how philanthropy can interact and change healthcare in transformational ways. My hope is that St. Mary's will be around forever taking care of the children who need us.